like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole, and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new, and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, guys, today I am so excited. I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate on these glasses, right? These are so cute. They have the bamboo top. They are just adorable, all right? And I'm going to show you how I sublimated and used vinyl. And the vinyl is, um, it changes colors vinyl. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. The end result looked like this. So cute, right? And this one changes colors. So, I'm going to show you how I designed these inside of Canva and um, how I sublimated and used this color change of vinyl. So, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's go. Okay, so today we are going to be sublimating and using vinyl on these glass jars. I got these from Etsy, from Peace and Poker. All right. So that's where I got them from. I'm going to be going ahead and using sublimation. I'll show you the designs in a minute. And then I'm going to be using vinyl from 143 Vinyl. I actually got this in March of last year. And this is the vinyl. I have some sun vinyl and then some change in color vinyl. This goes from like pink to purple. So you, we're going to go ahead and see how that works. And I'm going to use this on one and then the sublimation images that i'm going to create in canva so i'm going to show you how i did that so these are the glasses we are going to measure them so just so we can know what we're working with and these are 10 inches in width and let's take the bamboo top off And like five seven five and height okay they do come with a plastic straw all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna show you how I created the images inside of Canva and then we're gonna come back clean these out with alcohol and then we're going to put the vinyl and get the Cricut Maker to cut the vinyl. All right, so let's meet me inside of Canva. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I designed these glass cups. And I did them in Canva as well as in Cricut. So this is one of the cups. This is another one of the glasses. I didn't do these, but I was thinking about it. And then in Cricut these are what i'm going to put on for the vinyl okay so first let's go back and i'm gonna show you how i designed this this girl i got her last year let's see i got her where is she at oh she's over here i got her last year in april from pixels and hues all right that's where i got her from this one i got from c concept lab and then these are just some other ones that I got the year before last. I still haven't used her. I need to use her. I got her in 2020, two years ago. But anywho, so that's where I purchased them from. And I couldn't find a sunflower element inside of here that matched. I just couldn't find one that matched. So y'all know what I did. I literally, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to duplicate this. And what I did was... I made her larger and then I screenshot this flower right here and then I brought it back in Cricut and I removed the background I mean I brought it back in here and then I removed the background all right so I went to edit image background remover I let it do what it's gonna do and then this extra right here I went to erase and I erased it. It was actually over here on the one I used. But just for the sake of this, I pressed apply. And then I had my single right here. My single flower. So that's how I did that. Once I did that. Let's delete all of these. These are groups. 
So let me just make a new page. Let me delete this one. So once I had it by itself, I command C on my Mac and then I command V, I pasted it. And then I went to make it look a little bit better. So I went down to edit the image, this thing that's in beta auto enhance. And then I went and changed the clarity more, turned the blur down just so that it can look a little bit better. Okay. So that's what I did. I took this image, put her in the center. You can see what's the center right there. Put her in the center and then I duplicated these to make a cluster of three all right i made a cluster of three i grouped it and then i just moved them around so that's how i made this image and i just moved them accordingly wherever i thought i should see them. i actually like these clusters too so you see this is a different cluster than this one I think I'm going to swap some of them out so it could be different clusters too. So you see, yeah, anywho, I like it like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I just played around with them, put the things wherever I wanted to. Okay, and then for this one, I got this cute girl back in April of 2021 from C Concept Lab. I got her back then. And then what I did for her was... I put her in the middle and then I went over to elements and I searched leopard. Once I searched that, I looked around and I saw this one and I made it larger. And then I noticed that you can change the colors. Anytime you see these two squares up here, you can change the colors. So I changed those colors and then I made it large. Once I made it fit the screen or the shape, I went ahead and duplicated it, slid it over yonder, and then I duplicated it again, and then I cropped it so that it can fit, uh -oh. then I cropped it so it can fit there duplicated it again and put it up there and that's how i got that image easy peasy lemon squeezy bam so i got this one i didn't do these but this one is cool because you can change the colors because it's an svg so you literally can change it to whatever you want it's so cute so i like that anywho i'm gonna go ahead and download this one with a transparent background actually this one and download this one with the transparent background then i'm going to go over i'm going to upload these into um i'm going to upload these into silhouette studio but let me show you really quickly what i'm doing inside of cricut okay so inside of cricut design space i simply went to images and I search butterfly as well as flower. And they have a ton of really pretty ones. Okay. Really pretty, but I got this one. And this has the A, so it is with Cricut Access that I pay for every single month. But this is the butterfly that I chose. And then they have really pretty flowers. These are mine, y'all. I, and they say uploaded. Those are mine. And then I picked a really pretty flower. And I think it was this one. Yep. So I'm going to cancel that. And these, oh no, it wasn't that one. But anywho, these are the two uh, images that I'm going to be cutting. Now, 
they are about 1.5 they are 1.5 in height both of them and this one is 1.774 in width and this one's 1.624 in width so i'm just going to duplicate i don't honestly know how many are going to fit on there but i'm just i'd rather have too much than too little and i could always put them on another glass all right so i'm just going to duplicate these and then i'm going to cut these out and I'm going to be using the, the change in colors vinyl from 143 vinyl. So I'm excited about that. All right. So like I said, I'd rather have too much than too less. So there we go. Let's go ahead and I'm going to have my Cricut Maker cut the vinyl out. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean this glass off, right? You want it to be nice and clean when you're sublimating and putting the vinyl on. Now our Cricut Maker is cutting our color change in vinyl. And we're going to go ahead and weed the vinyl with this weeding tool. You see it came out pretty good. This is some good vinyl, y'all. I really, really like it. Now we're going to get our transfer tape. And y'all know I got my favorite, the one from the Dollar Tree. Well, Dollar 25 tree now. <laughs> and I went ahead and cut on my X-Acto knife and then squeegeed it down, made sure everything was down. And then I flipped it over and peeled it off the back. Now I'm just cutting them because I'm going to put them on individually. They're not going to be in like a design. If they were, then I could have kept it like that, but I'm just going to cut them off individually and then I'm going to place it on the glass. Y'all, this vinyl is amazing. There was no bubbles, nothing. It was so easy to do. I absolutely love it and I'm going to be getting some more. Okay. Great, great vinyl. I will say this again this vinyl is amazing look how good the colors are there were no bubbles no issues or anything i absolutely love it i completely love the way that it turned out and now let's get to the sublimating so these are the two images i'm going to be sublimating on the glass you guys saw me make them in canva and i love 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 them i'm honestly a little bit nervous because i've never sublimated on clear glass i did the frosted glass and I did it in the convection of it and I'm doing my tumbler press with it. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm trying to envision how the colors will look on the clear glass. So that's why I'm a little nervous. But let's go ahead, take these bad boys up and we're going to see how these turn out. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do this just like I do the tumblers and hope it turns out okay. So I'm gonna do 365, 70, and then 70. I have it wrapped up. Oh goodness, I hope it works out right. I'm so nervous, y'all. So this isn't a seam like a tumbler. It's not any specific way, so we're gonna see. And I set the pressure before I turned it on to get it hot, okay? So we're gonna see. All right, the first 70 seconds. Let's turn it. It look like it's going through. We're gonna see. All right, y'all, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why, probably because it's glass. We gonna take it out. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We're going to take it out. I'm going to let it sit just for a couple seconds. And then we're going to take it out. I don't know if it took or not. I and I can't tell. Let me just see. I 
I'm gonna let it just, oops. I'm gonna give it just a couple seconds. All right, y'all, here's the moment of truth. I let it sit for a second because I was nervous. Oh, it did it! Oh, and it did it good! Y'all, I'm so happy. Okay, I could have pressed it down a little bit up there. But it did it good. Look how good that black is. I'm going to put something in there so y'all can see it. But it did it. Okay. All right. And then we just wiped that off. Y'all, I did not know if this was going to work. Bet. All right. Let's keep it moving. Now I think I'm going to put a little bit more... If something's at the top, I'll put more tape around it. I don't have nothing at the top of this one, but okay, okay. Let's see. So, it's nothing really at the top of this one, but I'm still going to put it. So, we could tape the top of it down too, y'all. I think I may do another one of this because this look good. I might sell the other one. I might keep this one and sell the other one when I fix it because it looks good. Very, very good. Okay. So we learned to do the bottom. Do the bottom too. All right. So now we're going to put this one in. y'all see me yet yeah. and that's not a seam seam so that's okay and it wasn't okay i should have made time. it like a regular seam and like i said this not a real seam because you know you and i would never put the seam of a tumbler like that <laughs> ever ever and i should not have done it here and i will not do it again and you don't do it either all right y'all now this has been sitting out a long time so it's not even hot no more so i'm nervous to see how it looks Oh yeah, this is so cute. Okay, now I am noticing something. On the back of both of them, I'm gonna put the white in the other one. On the back of both of them, right at the same spot, it looks like I could have tightened it a little bit and I could have left it in there a little bit longer. But it looks so good. Oh, they are so cute. All right, I'm gonna put the little paper thing in here. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Like you see that? That's just a little bit lighter. See the difference? But I know what to do. To fix it, these are so freaking cute though. These are adorable. I love them so much. All right. Okay guys, we're gonna see if these can change colors. This can change colors. Oh no. All right, let's see if it changes colors. I think I see it changing. Do y'all see the colors changing? It's turning from pink to purple, the one at the bottom. Oh, I see it. Can y'all see it? I put cold water in there. It was in a freezer cold. Look at it. And the bottom of the butterfly changing. Oh, I see it. I see it. Ooh, ooh, that one changed completely. Y'all see that? Oh, you can see it like changing from purple to pink right there because there's no water up there. And look at that. That's all the way purple. That's purple now. That's purple now. And then that part is purple. Ooh, it's so cute. Ooh, there. You can see it a lot on there. And you can see it a lot right there. Oh, this is cute. Can y'all see that changing from pink to purple? Let's see if I can bring the light closer. The light basically look the same. 
But y'all see that color changing? Ooh, I like it. Ooh, now look at this. When I put my finger on it, it changes. Look at that. Cool. You guys, this project was a success. This came out so good. I absolutely love these and I cannot wait to make more. I have so many more ideas in my head, but I love them. Love, love, love them. Yay. Yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. These came out so cute. And did you see when it changed colors? So I do have a few tips. First, you want to make sure if you're using a tumbler press that you take the tops down and also around the seam, you want to put a little bit more tape and more pressure at the back of it so you can make sure it gets the popping colors like the ones in the front. All right, so those are the tips that I have. Have fun. I have so many more ideas that I want to do so many more so i'll probably post them if i make some more so you guys can see them but i absolutely love making these look how cute these are love them and you've seen these designs in some of my other videos because i've been had these designs but you see how you can refurbish and redo the designs and do different things so 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 cute but yes look how cute these are i love them love 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 them well that's a wrap if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl please like comment share and subscribe if you have not joined our facebook group queen dreamer please join it we love it over there follow me on tiktok do dream one is the handle instagram do dream one is the handle and i love y'all did y'all know that i think y'all knew that anywho y'all be safe out there here bye your time please like share and subscribe bye